Welcome to this tutorial on analyzing zymography gels using ImageJ. Zymography is a laboratory technique used to detect and analyze enzymatic activity in a sample. Specifically, zymography is used to identify and quantify enzymes that degrade macromolecules, such as proteins or nucleic acids. The technique involves separating a mixture of proteins or nucleic acids using gel electrophoresis and then incorporating a substrate for the target enzyme into the gel. After the substrate is incorporated, the gel is incubated under conditions that allow the enzyme to degrade the substrate. The resulting enzyme substrate complex is then visualized as a clear band against a dark background when the gel is stained. To begin analyzing your zymography gel, you'll need to open the image file in ImageJ. To do this, simply click on File and then Open. Navigate to the location where you've saved your gel image, select it, and click Open. The first step in analyzing your zymography gel is to adjust the threshold. This will help image J distinguish between the clear areas and the opaque areas in the gel, which correspond to protease activity. To adjust the threshold, click on Image and then Adjust Threshold. In the Threshold window, you can use the sliders to adjust the threshold until you have a clear separation between the clear and opaque areas. The next step is to measure the areas of protease activity in the gel. To do this, click on the Measure button in the Image J toolbar. This will open the measurement window, where you can select the gel. Use the square symbol to define the first lane, then go to Measure then Gel, advance the square to the second lane, and repeat the process for every lane. After you complete the lane definition, go to Measure, Gel Plot Lanes. If your peaks are well defined, you just need to use the magic wand tool and click inside each peak and image J will calculate the total area of the selected areas and display it in the measurement window. Finally, you'll want to save the results of your analysis so you can use them later. To do this, simply click on File and then Save As. Select a location to save your results and give the file a name. Then, click Save. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a like on the video and subscribe the channel. Hope to see you guys on the next one.